So what we're going to do now is create a header image. First thing we're going to do is go to media. Okay, we're going to add new media. Here's where we're going to upload our header image. Let's see. I'll do the 300 by 158 pixels. And I'll go ahead and hit save changes. Now I'm going to go to ultimatum and then and I'm going to go to templates. It says I don't have a default template it's because I didn't set one. So I'm going to go ahead and set one real quick. I'm going to create a new layout. I'm going to call it UltraPress. I'll leave it regular. And I won't worry about that stuff. 960 in width is good for me, so I'm hit save. I'll go ahead and delete. Uh, go ahead and delete this one right here. Yes. Okay. So I'll go ahead and make this my default, and I'll go inside and create the layout. I have no layouts here. So I'm going to create one. I'll name it inner page. And I'm going to leave it on a full layout because this is a one time deal. I won't. It's not something I have to use over and over again. I'm going to go back. Make sure I save that. Always save your layouts. I'm going to go back to the layout screen. And here's where I'll add my new header. So I'm going to type in header here and I'm going to make it a partial layout because it's something I'm, I'm going to need on every page that I create, on every layout that I create. I don't want to have to recreate it so I'll do a partial layout. Okay, I'm going to insert a row. And I'm going to want my header in the top left corner and then I want a search bar here and I might want some buttons here. This one fourth row style would work best for me. 100% might work good for you or maybe you want something different um, like 66% and 33. So click insert. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab the ultimatum logo widget and I'll plug it in right here. All right. So when we went to media, we should have grabbed their link, but we can go back and do that now. So hit save layout, and then we're gonna grab our link from our header image. Click on that. All right, here's our link right here. Go ahead and copy that. And then we'll go back. All right, so back to templates. And layout. Uh, let's go ahead and set our inner page as a default layout. So inner page, save. That's our default. Okay. So let's go down the header. We'll go back to our header. And we'll just paste our image in. And then save layout. So if you go to your website and you refresh, you'll see that nothing's there and that's okay. Don't freak out. We're gonna go back to the layout screen and we're gonna plug everything into our inner page. So we're gonna hit edit. And now our header shows up. We'll take this header and drag it to the layout. And then we'll hit save layout. Let's refresh. And there goes our logo. So if you want it to fill the whole page, you would do 100% and set your uh, image pixels to the right dimensions. We have our header logo.